Hi, this is Vijay. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do linear interpolation. Linear interpolation will be very useful when you are doing um, like uh, math, math calculations and especially when you are using tables to find the to find a specific value between two between two given points. So let me show you an example. It will be much it will be like much clearer when I when I show it to you with an example. So let's say we have temperature and pressure. Let's it will be easy that way. So for temperature, let me put it like this: temperature, pressure. For a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius, our pressure is 20 kilopascals. And for a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, our pressure is, let's say, um, 50 kilopascals. So these, this is how the, this is how the, the, the values are listed in your table. You are asked to find the the pressure at a temperature of 17 degrees Celsius. So you might be wondering, oh, how, how am I going to do this? It's very easy. This is where linear interpolation comes in. It's basically used to fill the holes in the table. So the easiest way to solve is the easiest way to solve is this way. All you have to do is follow these steps carefully. So since you are asked to find the temperature at 17 degrees Celsius, you label it as x equals 17 degree Celsius and by the way just to make it easier this 10 degree Celsius we will be our TA and this 20 degree Celsius will be our TB since TA is temperature of A and TB is temperature of B which is 20 degree Celsius and again this will be our pressure at A for 10 degree Celsius equals this will be a pressure at B okay you got everything set up now it's time to solve the problem you're asked to find the pressure at 70 degrees celsius so follow this carefully what you have to do is look at the temperature table you have 10 17 and 20 out of all the the biggest value is 20 so this is what you have to do you write the 20 20 minus subtracting with the next biggest number between 10 and 17, 17 is the biggest. So you do 20 minus 17 times, here's the key part of this problem. Since, since the 20 is your TB value and you're trying to find the pressure, you have to take the PA value and multiply with this. So again, since the TB value is 20 degrees Celsius, you take the opposite of it, which is the pressure of a so for temperature of b you take the pressure of a for temperature of a you take the pressure of b they just go the opposite way so you do 20 minus 70 times 20 20 kilopascals and then so now you follow the same step since between 10 degrees celsius and 17 degrees celsius um 17 is is, is the biggest you do you add them plus 17 minus 10 and again you see we are using TA here let me show you here since um, we are using TA here since we have TA we use pressure of B which is 50 and the top part is over now. Now you're dividing this whole thing by these temperatures. Why? Because you are trying to find the pressure value from the given temperature, which is 17 degrees Celsius. So you do temperature of B minus the temperature of A, which is 20 degrees Celsius minus 10 degrees Celsius is 10 degrees Celsius. And that gives you your pressure value at 17 degrees Celsius. So 20 minus 17 is 3. Let me do it over here. So 20 minus 17 is 3 times 20 plus 17 minus 10 is 7. 7 times 50. This whole thing divided by 10. So 
which equals 3 times 20 is 60 plus 7 times 50 is plus 7 times 50 is 350 and you divide this by 10 so 350 plus 60 gives you 410 410 divided by 10 equals 41 so for a temperature of 70 degrees celsius your pressure equals 41 kilopascals and this answer completely makes sense and it is right why because look you are asked to find the temperature you are asked to find the pressure for a temperature which is in between 10 and 20 and 17 is in between 10 and 20 so obviously your answer must be between 20 and 50 and 41 is perfect and it completely makes sense and the key in, and the key part of this problem is right here you are using tb temperature of b so you take the pressure of a you multiply them plus you do use this x minus this temperature of a and then multiply them all together by the temperate the pressure of b right here by the 50 and then you divide them by the temperature because the temperature 17 is given you're asked to find that particular pressure so you do 20 minus 10 so let me just write it down right here you do tb minus ta here and then that gives you your answer 41 kilopascals so this is not complicated again you're taking the biggest value subtract subtracting it with the x given times the the opposite of b from the temperature which is pressure of a plus you're taking the x you're subtracting with the with the least value the 10 times the times the pressure of b and then dividing it by the temperature of b minus temperature of a and then doing the arithmetic you will get the answer for 41 kilopascals so i thank you for watching this is like the the, the basic way of solving linear uh this is like the, the basic way of uh, doing linear interpolation so in my other videos i will show you more examples of uh, how to solve these types of um, problems